so now friends we have done all the technical part now we just need to design our website so now if you will hover on your website if you will just right click and if you will visit your website this is how your website will going to look very simple without any content so now we just need to design this website without any css you just need to do drag and drop i will tell you how you just need to go to pages click on all pages now from this home page just right click on this edit open this in a new tab so now friends after you will open it you just need to click on edit with elementor from this top button and now friends you are in elementor page builder now you just need to do drag and drop and you can create one professional website i will teach you how for example here you can see we have this plus button now if you will select this three section for example so now you just have to click on this nine dots you will come to the main menu part from here you can just drag this button here now you can customize this button you can make it to middle right left you can provide one link to button so now every element which you will going to add you will going to get three options that is content style and advanced so in style you can just style this button colors like if you want it to red in advanced you will going to get extra features like motion effect background etc etc now if you again want to go to your elements so again click on this nine elements dots so when you will click this nine dots you will again going to see this element button now you can also add video for example here you can see one video has been added if you again want to go to menu you can again go to menu you can put heading as well for example you can put heading again you will going to get one content style and advanced okay so this is how you can do drag and drop and you can easily create any professional kind of website now at very bottom you will see one update button so make sure that every minute you update whatever changes you will going to make here for safe site because i have seen sometimes people make lots of customization in their website and for some reason they forget to update and whatever changes they have made to their website all the data get lost so it's better to update frequently now if you will refresh your website or just go to your domain now you will see the changes in your website here you can see you have added one button one video and one heading so this is how elementor works now if you want to remove this so you can remove it from here okay so now let's design our website now when we will going to teach you how to design it you you will automatically going to get familiar with elementor and how to use it now first of all just click on this plus button and select this one column now first of all you can just go to elements and from here first of all you can drag the text editor here now text editor will going to help you to write the text okay so you can write we are proud to introduce so we have written the text now you can just go to style and you can change the color now it is by default left you can make it to middle but make it to left only now you can change the text color so from here you can just write remove everything now you can put a slash mark you can add four seven four seven four seven to make it extra dark now friends we will going to use this color frequently okay so you can save this color how you can do that just click on this plus button now you can just add here a slash four seven four seven four seven and then just click on create now whenever you will click on this globe icon so you will going to get your color which you have just saved so it will going to save lots of our time we don't have to every time go to, to the color and we have to put 4747 okay we can directly click on this global icon and we can select our color now you can click on typography so with the help of typography you can change the font weight and everything so here you can change the typography of this font so here right now it is selected as roberto i can make it to let's say some different font let's say i will make it to poppins so whatever you guys want you can put that it's totally up to you now from the size you can make it to 12 and let's change the weight so weight means how your text will going to look more bolder so if you will put to 800 so you can see it will become more bold now if you if you will choose 200 so it will become very light so i will choose 600 you can transform it to uppercase so all will become uppercase so we have done all the settings for this now you can just select these nine elements again now we can choose heading so you can just drag the heading just below this text editor like this and here you can write so here i have written fashionable fit trending style menwear so what if i want to put this in 
three lines like this so you just need to add open arrow like this and you have to write br then you have to close it so you can see that this trending style will go down okay so now if you want that this main wear to go in third line so after trending style you can again click on open bracket add br and the close it so now you can see that main wear will go in third line okay so even if you will now put everything in one line so it will still be at these three lines because we have added the br okay so whenever you will going to add br so you will going to make next word after br to another line now let's customize this text with the color so just go to style select the color re remove this put a slash mark then you have to add 2b 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 now again you can save this color because we will going to use this color a lot of time so just click on plus button here you can write slash 2b 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 click on create so we have successfully saved that color if you will click on blue so now you can see that we have saved this as well so we will going to use these colors frequently so that's the reason we have saved it here now just click on typography from here i will select poppins now from size you can make it to let's say 45 it is good now friends you can see that we need some space in between these three tags so we can do with the help of line height so first of all you can select the px from here and you can write here 60 let's say so now you can see we have good amount of space in between these three lines okay now we have to add one more text editor at bottom so again just go to elements by clicking on this nine dots drag the text editor just below this text here you can write whatever you want to so we have written exclusive from Bing comma so whatever you guys want to you can do that i will go to style now i have already saved the color so i can click on this globe icon and i can select to be to be to be so it will automatically going to match with this color now in typography i can make the font family to poppins again so now guys see whatever you guys want to you can customize it i am just giving you idea how elementor page builder works so after this course you will actually going to learn how you can use elementor page builder so right now i'm just giving you idea from which settings you will going to get which features okay and now i can make the size to let's say 18 now we don't have to do anything right now so i can just go to nine elements again and from here i can choose button so just drag the button down this here like this now friends here in that text here you can just customize it whatever you want so i can write shop now like this and in link you can just remove it and here you can write shop so you can see automatically it will going to give you options so you have to select this shop page where all your products will going to show so just select this now we will going to customize this button so just go to style so just go to typography and as i said that i will going to use poppins in majority of my website so i will select the poppins and for size i want to make it 14 now in weight i want it to be a little bit darker so let's put it 600 is okay transform it to uppercase so all will become uppercase like this you can see shop now and i can do one more thing i can just increase the letter spacing so you can see right now this shop now these letters are so much sticky with each other so i can make this letter apart little bit so i can write here one so it will now increase some space between letters so after you will do this just go to color and we can change the color to whatever you want so i will put 22adc9 even i can save this color as well so i can put this color i will click on create that is slash mark 22adc9 so whatever color you, you guys want to use so now guys whatever color you guys want you can use it for your website or you can also even follow me as well now friends you can also do something in paddling so now if you don't know what is paddling so with the help of paddling you can increase the border of this button so first of all unlink it so now from top just add 15 from bottom also add 15 from right just add 35 from left also just add 35 now we can also add some kind of shadow so you can just click on this box shadow like this so you can see that you have added some kind of shadow you can change the shadow color of this button so right now i can put it to this 22 adc9 so now you can see the background color is light blue okay then make sure that as i said you that you have to frequently click on update so make sure that you guys update now friends we can add one background image at back so how you can do that so you can add one image so just follow the cursor here you can see i mean this six dot which says edit section so you just need to click there so you will see this edit section 
then just go to style then just click on classic then you have to choose one image so i have provided you file so there i have added one image this is a slight image you can also use this image or even you can add your custom image as well okay then click on insert media so now you can see that you have added one image but it is not properly added now to make this image fit properly so we can do this easily by going to this setting which says size from here choose to cover so now you can see that image will going to come here like this you can even do some more changes for example i want it i want the position to be center to center so it will become center to center now friends you can increase some space from top and bottom you can see that shop now button is so much stick here so you can do by going to advanced setting from here you can just go with paddling so if you will increase the paddling like for example if you will increase it so you can see all the sides will going to increase so that is very bad okay so just make it to zero first of all you have to unlink it then from top add 30 so you can see we have got 30 space at top and from bottom also just add 30 then click on update so now if you will just go and type your domain name and if you will refresh your website so now you can see that your website is looking like this which is amazing right so in this way we have completed the first section so you can see it is super simple to do drag and drop and create the website so similarly we have to do more drag and drop and we can create one professional website okay now you can just click on this arrow to make the elementor settings go here so this is how your website is looking if you again want to go to elementor settings just click on this arrow button so you will again going to see the elementor settings so now guys we have done our first section so now let's go to second section so to create second section just click on this plus button click on this first column now you can add one text editor so just click on this nine element dots from here just drag the text editor here and here you can write passion for fashion then you can just go to style and you can just go put it to center align like this and from the style you can choose this global so if we can make it to to be to be to be this color now you can also make some changes in typography if you guys want to you can make it to let's say poppings now you can also save this font from here also all the settings but let's make it manual only you can make the way to more darker like this i can even make the size to 70 like this now i can add one heading add down so again click on nine dot elements just drag the heading down and here you can write shop by categories now you can make it to center align like this and here in style you guys can make it to this to a ad c9 which is this same color you can go to typography and you can change it to poppings if you want to so now guys you can see that we have lots of space in between passion for fashion and shop by categories so you can just select this shop by categories you can go to advanced and here first of all unlink both of them and and from margin just decrease it so you can see it will go upper like this and make sure from bottom you put some gap so you can increase from bottom like this maybe let's say 18 or make it 20 now you have to select this passion for fashion so just click on this edit button follow my cursor and from the advanced just go to advanced unlink both of all uh, first of all unlink them and increase it from top so you can see there is now difference here from this first section and passion for fashion okay now friends you have to add one more row so just click on this plus button click second option this one now you can just go to elements and you can use inner section so inner section will going to divide one section into two parts you can see one and two now friends we have to add images here so just click on this elements drag the image here now from here just select one image go to upload files i've provided you the images inside media you can see these images so you can use these images or you can even use your own images if you guys want to so we will going to use this image click on insert media so you can see that this image has been added now friends you can add caption and link to this image as well so let me show you in caption write custom caption here you can write t-shirts even you can add one link so whenever someone will click on this image they can go to any link you will going to provide here so now guys you can also do one more thing just click on custom url here you can provide t-shirt category so as you all know when we are creating our products so we have created categories okay so you can just go to products you can go to categories so as you all know that we have created category of t-shirts so you can just hover here and just view it by opening it in a new tab so this is your category for t-shirt right so you can just copy the url like this 
you can go to Elementor page builder and here you can paste the URL. So whatever t-shirt you will going to have for your website, whenever someone will click here, they will go to t-shirt categories. Now guys, we will do further changes here. We will going to show these t-shirts uh, at here. Okay, we will do it in future. So right now you have to add more images. So just click on elements again, go to images and drag these images at top like here. Just select the image. Here you can add this image. Just click on insert media. So this image will be added. Similarly, just go to elements put images here one more time go to images put one image here now in this image we have to put caps okay insert media you can also write caption here so let's put caps here for example you can click on edit here and you can also add one more image of shoes so this is the shoes you can also add custom caption here you can add shoes similarly in this image you can also add one caption that is bags super simple so now friends as you all know how you can make different different categories i have told you for example you want to add back categories so you can just go to codex directly go to categories or even you can create categories as i have shown you when we were creating codex so from there also you can directly create categories or you can directly create one new categories for example let's say uh, when you will go to codex categories you can create one categories of bags you can put it under something okay and then just click on add new category so you can see back category has been added view it open it in a new tab this is your back category so whenever you put all bags under this category all bags will going to show here so similarly you can just go to bags here also you can add custom link paste the url here so this is how you can create separate categories for cap shoes or whatever products you have for your business then just click on update of course you guys want to create or upload your products images you can do that it's totally up to you or even you can use the images which i have provided to you for free okay now friends you can see that we have lots of difference in these images so you can just click on this edit button here on six dots then inside layout you can go to this column gap and you can make it to narrow so now you can see there is very narrow gap between these two columns and now friends if you want to make this caption to at here that means bags will come to here caps will going to show here so it's look very amazing so you, what you can do you can just go to advanced you can go to css classes and here you have to write wustify w o o s t i f y slash mark or i can say slash shop slash category so you can see that all things have come here so now it is looking far more better okay now friends you can see that we have lots of gap between these images in these images so we can also do some changes here so just click on this edit button of this image just go to advance unlink it just add 10 first of all and here you can add minus so now you can see the gap has reduced now similarly you have to click on this edit button here follow my cursor and just go to column gap and make it to narrow again so now you can see there is a very narrow gap between these two images so friends you can also add more gap here so let's go to advance increase the margin First of all, unlink it, increase the margin for top. Now it is looking great. Okay, so this much gap is fine. So this is how our second section is looking. So just click on update. Now guys, we can add one more section. So it's very simple. So what you can do, I will teach you one new thing. That is just go here on this edit section. Just click here, right click, click on copy. Go here in this section, right click and click on paste. So now you can see the same style we have pasted here now you just need to edit it so just click on this pencil button from here here you can write let's shop similarly just click here you can write new arrivals now friends here we have to add some products to add products you just need to open new tab and here you have to search woocommerce short codes okay you just have to search this that is woocommerce short codes and you will going to see the first link which is docs.woocommerce.com you just need to open this now scroll down you can use various shortcodes that will going to help help you for displaying your products so here you can put random sales item so we will first of all go with these featured products so just copy this now just go to your elementor page builder from here just go to elements search for shortcodes here in this search bar short shortcode you will see this option just drag it down here like this and here, here you have to just paste this short code which you have just copied so i will just right click and paste it and now friends you have to make some changes that means here in the product limit you have to put four in column you can put four so four products will going to show here okay so now no image will going to show here because we have not set any products to featured images so first of all you have to apply it and then just click on update 
Now, if you want to set any product as a featured product, so just click on all products. Now, if you want to feature any product, just click on the star button. So if you want to feature this product, so just put or click on the stars. I also want to feature this product. I also want to feature this product as well. So now you have featured these three products. So now if you will refresh your Elementor page builder, but make sure that first you update it, then only refresh, okay? Now just scroll up. Now you can see that these three images has been added. Now don't worry, at last we will going to configure the image size properly. But the thing I want to tell you is that how you can feature products. So now you can just edit it. Now it's not new arrivals, it's featured products. So whatever products you will going to add and when you will going to feature it, it will going to show here automatically. Then just click on update. So now guys, we can add one more section. So here you can show about free shipping. You provide dedicated support. You provide money back guarantee as well. Just click on this plus button and now you have to select the three column. Now you have to just go to elements. From here you have to select the inner sections. I will tell you uh, why you are selecting inner sections. Just follow me. Then you will going to understand everything now here you can add one icon so just go to elements search here icon so just drag the icons here like this now you can change the icon as well so for example i will choose basket like this insert it now you can see basket has been added now you can go to style you can change the color for example i choose this color whatever you want to choose you can choose it for yourself now you can even do some changes in size so let me make it to 36 now friends we want this icon to go left okay so what you guys can do you can just click here on this section and here in content width you can make it to 25 so this will go to 25 and and in this section you have lots of space now you can just go to elements first of all you drag one heading here you can write free shipping like this you can go to style you can change the typography to let's say poppins you can even change the color so i can choose this same color and you can also make the size of this to 20 let's say now 20 is looking great then you can make it more bolder 700 but 600 is looking great now go to elements and from here you have to add text editor just write the text editor here you can edit the text so i have written here on all orders over dollar 200 now you can go to style and you can just customize it for example let's make this color to do it to a to b this one you can go to typography select to pop in i have selected pop ins now friends what you guys can do you can just click on this edit section of this icon here and you can make the vertical align to middle so now you can see that this icon has come to middle similarly you can select this whole edit button and from this vertical align you can also make it to middle okay you can also select this you can also make it to middle okay so now it's looking great okay you can see now it is fine so now it's looking very great okay now friends you can just copy this whole section just click on this edit button in the six dot right click copy it just paste it here similarly paste it here also now you can just click on this edit button here you can just make changes just make to headphone like this okay so this will going to save lots of our time now you can edit this free shipping here you can write dedicated support now click here here you can write quick response 24 by 7 now you can click on this edit basket here you can add let's say card so i can add this card for example and here just click on this edit button in free shipping and you can change it to money back guarantee you can also change this text just click on this special button here and you can make changes to worry free shopping okay all done then just click on update because we have done all the necessary changes and this is how your website will going to look like now and now friends you can do one more thing you can just click on this border here you can go to style now you can go to border you can make it to solid and in left and right first of all unlink it in right you have to write one in left also you have to write one okay now you can just see this is how now this border will show here so now it is looking great now just click on update so now friends we have to create one more section so just click here i can say we have to create more two sections so just click on this six dot just click on copy again go here and just paste it so we have got everything duplicated now we have to make some little changes here first of all click on this edit button here and here you can write trending now in featured product just click on this edit and here you guys can write popular this way now you can just click on this section here you have to provide one more short code so just go to your same woocommerce short code and from here you can go to newest product so whatever new product you will going to publish in your website first of all just copy the short code here like this so whenever you will put new products in your website so new products will going to automatically show here so just 
remove this one and paste the newest one like this and here you guys can see right now id so here you can type rand that is random so instead of new products you can show all the random products okay so it will automatically going to show here so guys similarly you can just copy and paste and whatever short codes you want for example specific products best selling products so just copy the short codes and just paste it here and you will see that short code will going to work here so it is super simple then just click on update now we have to create one more section so what you guys can do now you can just copy this section so just uh, click on this six dots just copy this and just go down and here just paste it now just click on this pencil button and here here you can write it stay up to date now here in this headline just click on this pencil edit button and here you guys can write follow us on instagram and you can provide your instagram images now you can do one more thing just click on this plus button and now you can select five column which is uh, this one then you can make that content fit to full width so now what will happen when you will choose full width so your whole website will be covered with that images right now you can see it is in boxed way you can see it is box you can see it is in box way you can see this section is also in a box way so i will teach you what does that what does that mean uh, in a few bit later and you can also stretch the sections and you can make the column gap to let's say no gap now you can just go to elements just drag the image here now select the image go to upload files now i have provided you the file so here in instagram you will find all these five images if you want to use it you can use it or you can even create yours as well so first i will put this as image i have put the image now you just need to click on this edit button and you have to right click and you have to copy it and you have to paste here just paste it paste it paste it here also paste it now you just have to click on this second button or second pencil button of this image you can now just change it to this one similarly just select the third image pencil and here you can edit here you can edit some other images like i am doing which is this one so now you can see now every of my images has been added here now friends you guys can see that inside all the images you will going to get this link option so you can choose the custom url and you can provide your instagram url so for example my instagram so for example my instagram page is this one that is being commerce.official so you can also follow us here we, you can see 61000 followers just copy the url and paste it here super simple okay so similarly if you want to put to all images just click on the edit button go to link click on custom url again paste your instagram url similarly you have to do with all the images and then just click on update so now you can see we have updated it now we have to see how our website will going to look so you can see let go to your domain so type your domain click on enter so now friends you can see this is how my website is looking right now it is just looking amazing okay now don't worry about these images you just have to put more products in your website after you will put more products your website will look more good because we have only put only three products so that's the reason only three products are showing here okay otherwise your website is looking very great go to elementor page builder now okay so if you want to customize your website you can 100 percent customize it i have told you in which setting you will get which feature so just use the elementor page builder just do drag and drop and you can even make some changes if you guys want to